This video is sponsored by eToro. Open your account today by clicking the link in the description. Which countries control the world's food? Perhaps we can simplify this question by asking which countries are exporting the most food. There are two clear winners here. The US exports 70 million tons a year, and Brazil tops the list with a whopping 86 million tons. Notable mentions include Argentina, 37 million tons, Russia, 27 million tons, Australia, 26 million tons, Indonesia, 26 million tons also, Ukraine, 25 million tons, Canada, 22 million tons, and India at 21 million tons. This means that the vast majority of the world's food supply originates from North America, South America, Eastern Europe, and Indonesia. You may assume that with this wide geographical spread that these regions simply export to fill demand in neighboring countries, but that is simply not the case. Specializing in different agricultural products, these countries meet demand around the world. So, who specializes in the exports of which items? The main exports of the aforementioned countries are Brazil, soybeans, US, corn, Argentina, also corn, Russia, wheat, Australia, wheat, Indonesia, palm oil, Ukraine, corn, Canada, wheat, and India, rice. You will have noticed the greatest number of exports consist of corn, soy, wheat, and palm oil. Soy requires a warm, sunny climate with plenty of fertile soil, which is mainly found in North and South America, and has the main use of cooking oil and livestock feed. Corn can grow in a wider range of climates but requires rich soil to grow well, found in the exporting countries of the US, Argentina, and Ukraine. Its main use is livestock feed and ethanol. Wheat is a very resilient crop and can be grown on the majority of land but requires a lot of space. As you may have noticed, Russia, Australia, and Canada do not lack space. It is used for food and more livestock feed. Finally, palm oil requires extremely specific conditions with Indonesia producing 60% of the world's supply and the rest being met by some of its neighboring countries. Palm oil is used in a wide range of products including food and cosmetic items. The good news is that none of these products is particularly relied upon and all can be substituted or minimized. The issue comes down to supply and demand. Any issues with these exporters will raise the costs of food in importing nations. Approximately one-sixth of the world is reliant on food imports for survival, so which countries are at greatest risk when it comes to relying on international food exports? Firstly, there are 31 countries across Africa and the Middle East who are actually physically unable to produce enough food to feed themselves due to climate, water, and land limitations. Furthermore, there is an array of wealthy countries that import a significant amount of their food due to land constraints or just better economic viability of allocating resources elsewhere. These nations are not necessarily dependent on other countries, as reallocation of resources could solve the problem. Similarly, conflicts or trade issues with food exporters aren't always problematic, as often these supplies can just be purchased elsewhere. Notable countries that purchase substantial agricultural imports include the US, $113 billion, China, $105 billion, Germany, $95 billion, Japan, $69 billion, the UK, $67 billion, the Netherlands, $64 billion, France, $62 billion, and Italy, $51 billion per year. These countries all have a lot in common. They are all very wealthy and can afford the imports. They also have significant population density and land constraints. There are two options that countries like these should consider. To rely on imports for greater economic benefit through the allocation of resources elsewhere, or to ensure self-sufficiency by incentivizing and mandating domestic agriculture.